In this video, we're going to create a beautiful slide-in menu for tablet and mobile using the pop-up feature included in Elementor Pro. Following this tutorial, you will be able to get rid of the limitations that are there in the standard Elementor menu when it comes to optimization for mobile and tablet. Hi, my name is Pascal and I'm the creator of WP Road's YouTube channel and website, the place where I share my passion about WordPress. So if you like WordPress tutorials, news and reviews, don't hesitate to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to my newsletter at wproads.com. Now we will create a beautiful slide in menu like this one. And we will be able to insert inside here whatever we want. We can also change the animation here. We can change the background color and everything we want. And this is a beautiful and flexible way to create advanced menus for mobile when you're using Elementor to create and manage your headers. As you can see here, I even customized my icon and I can really customize every single detail of this beautiful slide-in menu. To start creating our slide-in menu, we will use the Elementor pop-ups. You can find the option by going to Templates and here we are, pop-ups. We click on Add New Template and this will be pre-selected on pop-up, perfect. We give it a name, in this case will be Mobile Menu version 2 and I click on Create Template. Okay, here you have a bunch of pop-ups, of pre-designed pop-ups, but uh, in our case, we will start from scratch. So we are more free, we have more freedom and flexibility to create exactly what we want. So here basically is the um, standard layout of the pop-up. We can also build, place the structure here. If you want to enable it, you can do like this. And uh, we can change the background, we can change the border radius, we can add a border, we can do basically whatever we want and customize everything. Now we'll take as a reference our example here. So we'll change the background color of the pop-up. We go here in the gear settings of the pop-up. We can change the width if we need to do so. In my case, I will leave it as it is, okay. And then we can also choose the height. This is very important because in our case, we will choose fit to screen so that we will be sure that our menu will cover all the screen space that we have in a vertical direction. Okay, let's go on. We can change here the position of the pop-up. We can place it to the left side, to the right side if we need to, but in our case, we will leave it center, okay? And also for the vertical positioning. We can then choose to have an overlay or not. As you can see here, the overlay just increases the contrast with the background. So it's a best practice to leave it enabled. We can choose to remove the close button, but in our case, it's very important to leave it here. Otherwise, people would not be able to close the mobile menu. And so it's very important to leave it there. Close button. Then we have the entrance animation and the exit animation. As you can see here in the preview, they're not enabled because the, the pop-up just uh, appears like this. But at the beginning of the video, when I showed you how it works, you saw that there was uh, an animation. You can choose that right here. So you can make the mobile menu fade in from, uh, from the up, uh, for example, and the exit animation fade out up. And we can change also the animation duration. I will put it about half a second, perfect. Okay, so these are the basic layout settings right here. We have also some general settings and some preview settings, but in my case, I will leave everything like this. Now I'll go on the style tab. Remember that I'm still in the pop-up settings here. And in the style tab, I can choose the background. I will use here in my case, a simple background color like this one, okay? And if I want, I can also tweak around a little bit with the border radius or any other elements that I want to change. I can even change the overlay color if I want to have a different one. Let me see here if I change to this one, for example. I can change even to the same color here. And then I can play also with the transparency of the color. Okay, we'll put it like this, perfect. And then we will style also the close button. As you can see here, it's not visible. We will make it clear as a color. So we'll choose here white, for example. We can make it bigger, okay, like this, perfect. And if you want, we can also add a background color, but in my case, I will leave it just like this without background color, okay. If you need to change the positioning, you can do it like this and it's quite easy and intuitive. We will leave it like this and you can even place it outside, but in our case, it will be inside, okay. And then in the advanced tab, you have a bunch of other options that you can, we can choose here, for example, the prevent closing on overlay, prevent closing on ASCII, disable page scrolling, avoid multiple pop-ups and so on. But in our case, we will just leave it like this because we do not need this advanced settings, okay. Let's start now by adding some content. So we will go here in the plus icon, Flexbox. Okay, column direction. 
and we will start by adding the simple site logo, like in this example here. Okay, I will just style it here a little bit. So I'll put it in pixels. Then we go on by adding something else, maybe a heading. We can make it a paragraph. Okay. In my example, I will put my name, my brand name right here. If you want, you can also add a link, of course, and do whatever you want. In this case, I will just add some styling. Okay. Okay. And I will place it centered. And then I will add a navigation using the icon list. Okay, icon list, perfect. Let's style it a little bit so we see what we are doing. It will be, the icon will be for, for example, this color and the text will be white. Okay, perfect. Let's add also a, typo, a global typography. This one will be a little bit bigger like this so it's easier to see and navigate through the different menu items. We'll increase the spacing between the items and we'll go here and add some content. Of course, we will need to have our homepage linked here. We can change the icon here and we can search for the little home. Okay. Let's go on. Okay, of course, here we have to link. Second one here will be the services page. Then we will have another link to the blog page and then our last link to the about page okay so this is a simple menu if we want to uh, make it uh, how do you say aligned to the left side and still centered we just need to go back to the style option we make it left here and we just need to align the element through the advanced tab voila like this perfect what else we need we will place a call to action okay so let's go to the plus button we will place it to the center here and this one will be the contact us okay and then we will finish by adding some social media icons okay voila we have our social media icons down here perfect let's have a quick preview okay so this is our beautiful mobile menu of course, we can also play around and style it to obtain the exactly pixel perfect slide in menu that we want. Okay, now I've started a little bit and you see that I will need some spacing to, to the top and I can proceed in two ways. The first, ways I, uh, the first way is I select the container here and I simply go to the advanced tab, unlink all the values of the padding and I add some padding to the top. Like this, you'll see that I will have some spacing to the top. And this is the easiest way to uh, replace the content differently into our pop-up but if we want also to center perfectly all the elements we can also get rid of this padding here we leave it to zero we go back to our container we go now to the layout tab and we add a minimum height in this case we will use the vh okay vh this one vh and we go here and place it at 100. As you can see here now, my container has taken all the space that is available in the window. And what I can do now is justify content to the center. You see, very easily I've placed all my content to the center. Let's see how this will behave. This is one of the best way to organize all the content in our mobile menu. We will publish this menu. Since we will edit manually, we do not need any conditions or triggers or advanced rules in our case. We will just need to save and close, okay? And then we will need to go to our header. In this case, it's here. Okay, let's open it. And we will need to place in this header a button. So let me show you how to do so. In my case, I will place a button only on mobile view, like this one. I've hidden the standard menu in the, in the mobile view. As you can see here, the standard menu is hidden. And to do so, if you do not know how to do it, you just need to select the menu, go to the advanced tab, and you go to the responsive, and you choose to hide this element based on the device you're in. In my case, of course, mobile portrait, this menu is hidden. So we'll, I will be able now here to add a different menu, which will be linked to my new slide in menu, which is this one. How can I do so? Simply by adding a, a button or an icon. In my case, it will be an icon. So we'll choose the icon widget. I'll drag it and drop it here. Okay, just after the logo perfect and uh, i will simply need here to go to the advanced tab and make sure that this element here won't be visible on other devices for example i do not want to show this menu on desktop or not on laptop or on tablet in my case i just want this menu to be visible on mobile landscape and mobile portrait perfect now I will, I will go and change the icon and this one will be the bars icon for example which is the classic menu bar okay with the hamburger icon okay 
And let's style it a little bit. So we will make it a little bit smaller. Let me say 25 pixels or even something more, 30 pixels. We'll change the color, okay. And we will add now some spacing. We go to the advanced tab, we unlink the values of the margin and we will add some margin to the right so that it will be, okay, a little bit more organized. And at the bottom, we can also decrease because like this, it will be well correctly centered. And then we can link our mobile menu. Let's do, let's see how to do so. We just need to go to the content. And here in the link section, we'll just need to choose the dynamic tags, okay? And to search here, we will search for the action send pop-up, you see? You simply select the pop-up, you go then now to the settings, okay? And you choose which pop-up you want to open when you select this icon. In our case, it will be the menu version number two, this one, okay. I can just test it here. If it's not working, I can simply publish, okay? And go ahead and have a quick preview right here. Okay, let's make it visible from mobile like this. As you can see here, there is my beautiful icon. And if I click on it, voila, perfect. Okay, there is a little bit of a problem here because I do not see immediately the, the close button, but I think that it's only because I'm logged in and there is the admin bar. Okay, so let's test it again by logging out of uh, from our website. So we'll log out just to see how it will work. Okay, let's make a test and voila, now it's working perfectly. Wow, okay. Maybe I will need just to also to block, to lock the, the scrolling. You see now that there is a scrolling which is not blocked and I can do so by simply going back to my menu, my pop-up here in my case, and in the option, in the settings of the pop-up, I go to the advanced tab and I prevent scrolling, disable page scrolling, this one. Let's publish now, save and close, okay. And if you want, we can also change the animations still in the pop-up settings. We scroll down here. As an entrance animation, we will type in slide, for example, okay, slide in left, and we will use also the same exit animation, still slide, slide out left. Okay, let's see how it works. We save and close. We'll go ahead and have a quick preview right here. Okay, perfect. It works perfectly, wow. Maybe I'll just change it a little bit and make it slide in right. Okay, okay. Let's choose, for example, slide here, slide in right and slide out right as an exit animation and I'll place the duration 0.5 seconds. Okay, save and close. In order to see it correctly, the best way is to have a preview directly on our mobile phone. Let's do it. And as you can see, the menu looks beautiful. Slide in and slide out. That looks awesome. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any feedback, please share it with me down in the comment section below. I'm always happy to read about your experience when you follow my tutorials. I also have a eight hour full guide and tutorial on how to create a beautiful and good looking professional website using Elementor Pro. So if you haven't seen it yet, just check the link in the description box below. And I'm sure that if you work with WordPress and Elementor, this tutorial can be very helpful for you. I wish you all the best with your WordPress projects and hope to see you in the next video.